In this video, I'm gonna show you how to back up CD-based games using RetroArch. One of the coolest features to come to RetroArch over the last couple of years is the ability to play CD-based games within their emulator cores. Along with this functionality was the ability to dump your CD-based games in an effective way. RetroArch is able to dump games from a number of CD-based systems including PS1, Sega Saturn, and Sega CD as an example, and it makes great backups of those games. And thankfully, the process is really easy, so let's dive in. So the first thing you need to get started using RetroArch as a game dumper is to install the PC version of RetroArch. This guide is technically a continuation of my how to install RetroArch PC tutorial videos, so there will be a link in the description or upper right hand corner on how to get that installed if you want to use it for disk dumping. But once you have RetroArch installed, all you need to do is get it opened up. And now we need to find a disk that we want to dump, so I'm going to dump my copy of Panzer Dragoon for Sega Saturn. Put it into your computer's disk drive if it still happens to have one, or you might need to find an external drive to dump your discs with. Once you have the disc you want to dump in place, on the RetroArch main menu we are going to click on Dump Disc. RetroArch will then list the disc drives attached to your computer, and you will choose the one that has your game in it, so I only have the one drive, so that makes it a pretty easy choice. And it will begin dumping the disc. Now this process can take quite a few minutes, so just be patient with it and let it do its thing. Once the dump is complete, you can go ahead and exit out of RetroArch. And now in the RetroArch folder, we are going to scroll up. And we want to go into the Downloads folder right here. And this is where we will find our newly backed up copy of the game we just had in our disk drive. Now RetroArch does name the disk image a bit strangely, but honestly, that is okay because what we really need to worry about is just the name of the Q file if we want to have it show up in RetroArch or other emulators correctly. So, I mean, you could freely rename the Q files just like that, and then you can make a new folder and put all of the bin and Q files inside of it. And there we go. Now we have a backed up copy of Panzer Dragoon. Now, if you did want to go through and manually rename all of these bin files, for example, if I want to go through and make them all Panzer Dragoon, I could do this. Just like that. But the game won't work anymore if I do this until I edit the Q file. So the easiest way to edit a Q file is just to open it in a text editor. So for my example on Windows 10, I'll just open up Notepad, drag the Q file in, and now I need to make all of the names inside the Q file match up with the new names I just gave all of the bin files. So when you try to load up this Q file, it's looking for the old names. This is why so many people out there have issues with bin Q files. They rename them and don't edit the Q files, so it just breaks everything. So to make sure that this game will run, I just need to change it to Panzer Dragoon for all of these CD-ROM number thingies like I did for the bin files. And once I have all of those renamed, I just need to save the Q file. And we're done. Now this copy of Panzer Dragoon looks a lot nicer and will still work. Now again, for most people out there, I just recommend changing the name of the Q file. It's just a lot less of a process, and it will still work. And when you add these games to playlists and stuff within RetroArch, you're looking for just the Q file anyway, so it really doesn't matter what any of the bins are named. So, your choice. There's the example on how to do both. But then, just to confirm that this is actually going to work, just gonna load up RetroArch. Gonna go to Load Content, and find my download directory within the RetroArch folder. So that way I can make sure that this backup actually works. So RetroArch PC tutorial, RetroArch downloads, Panzer Dragoon, Panzer Dragoon, bleh, Panzer Dragoon dot Q. There we go. And I'm going to load that up in Beetle Saturn. And there we go. It is booting up and we are on our way to the main menu. 
So there we go. Awesome backup of Panzer Dragoon ready to go. And everything is working like intended so far. I will need to give this game a full playthrough just to be sure that everything is working as intended, but the first level loads up, so that's a good sign. And then from here, you could just keep backing up any of the discs that you happen to own as you see fit. So I'm just going to back up Mega Man X4 and Sonic CD. I'm going to skip ahead in the video here so you don't have to watch this process because it's going to take like another 20 minutes. Alright, so I just finished backing up discs from a bunch of different systems. I had originally just planned on doing Mega Man X4 and Sonic CD, but I figured, hey, why the heck not show you all all the different systems that this method can support. So you saw me test Panzer Dragoon earlier, but what about X4? And look at that, boots right up. And actually doesn't have any of the video stutter like when I try to run it from the actual disc in Beetle PSX, interestingly enough. Alright, Sonic CD, so this is of course for Sega CD. And it boots right up as well. Sorry, I kind of have everything in fast forward right now just to make things go a bit quicker for us. Alright, Turbo Graphics CD, or PC Engine CD rather. And it boots right up as well. Neo Geo CD. Good to go. And here's a fun one, 3DO. So for whatever reason, 3DO doesn't boot unless you boot it from the bin file directly for me. So that's what I got to do. But there we go, 3DO games up and running as well. Now here's a really fun one, MS-DOS games. So if you have CD-based MS-DOS games, you can also use RetroArch to dump those. And then you can run them through the DOSBox Pure Core. Man, I love DOSBox Pure. It just makes the act of playing DOS games on modern hardware just so easy. And as you can see, I left the dump names as the CD-ROM names for all of them, but I just changed up the Q files just to make it a lot easier on myself because renaming all of these and making sure they're named correctly in the Q file can be a bit of a drag. So it's just so much easier just to rename the Q file. But in theory, this method of dumping CD-based games should work on every CD based system so if you have things like CDI it should work for that as well and in theory CD based PS2 games should work I just don't have anything for those systems to test so I can't verify if it does work for them or not but I have no reason to suspect it doesn't if it works for MS-DOS and like these other seven systems so for those of you looking to back up your physical CD-based collection, RetroArch makes the whole process relatively simple, albeit a bit slow. It takes time to dump stuff, so you just kind of have to be patient with it. But the end results are pretty awesome. And that's what we're going to call it for this one. So as always, if you happen to have any questions, feel free to ask me down in the comments section below, and I will do my best to try to help you out. But now if you could all do me a huge favor, and be sure to hit that like or dislike button, just depending on how much you like today's tutorial. And if you haven't done so already, hit that sub button so you can see when new videos like this go live. Goes a long way to helping out the channel and keep it growing, so I can bring more content like this to all of you. If you'd like to further help support the channel, you can also check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. A little really goes a long way to keeping this place up and running, and we are super grateful to all of you for it. Champions, thank you so much for everything you're doing for us. We love you guys. You're rock stars. Thank you. But that's going to do it for this one, so until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, stay awesome, and we will see you all back next video.